Good afternoon and welcome to the Board of Supervisors special meeting for July 6, 2022. At this time, could you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Okay, before we go into the regular agenda, we do have a report out from 621. I'm going to turn it over to the clerk. Report out from closed session from June 21, 2022. Item 1, pursuant to Government Code 54956.91, conference with legal counsel regarding the existing litigation, County of Calaveras versus Sascorni Ranches Limited Partnership et al. Calaveras County Superior Court Case Number 20CB45113, Board Action, No Rewardable Action Taken. Item 2, Pursuant to Government Code 54956.9D2, Conference with Legal Counsel, Re-Anticipated Litigation, One Case, Significant Exposure to Litigation, Board Action, No Rewardable Action Taken. Thank you. Next, we have a agenda. Item number one, quote. Item one, resolution OES, receive an update on the electrifier and consider declaring a local state of emergency. And we have Mr. Osborne on the screen. Hi, John. Good morning, Madam Chair, members of the board. Uh, thank you for giving us this opportunity to provide you with an update regarding the electric fire. Um, I have with me today Chief Kevin Bohall from uh, our local Cal Fire unit, um, and it appears that he's connecting to audio to give us a an incident update. Yes, ma'am. Um, so let me grab uh, a little incident update. Um, as it stands right now, the fire is approximately 4,100 acres and 10% contained. Uh, we have lost no structures in Calaveras County, nor have we lost any structures in Amador County. Um, Cal Fire uh, Incident Management Team 3 assumed command of the incident uh, sometime yesterday, and um, they are in full command with uh, our, our Sheriff's Office as well as Amador County. Fire movement has been um, minimal, only about 200 acres in the last 48 hours or so. Um, at this point, the uh, right and left flanks of the fire have uh, some secure line, I will call it, um, along the lower ends near the starting point. Um, the issue that we're facing right now is as it goes northeast up the drainage, um, it um, the, the terrain becomes extremely steep, uh, and that is very, very difficult to get hose and crews into to extinguish the fire. Um, we do have um, a lot of resources um, in the area. The uh, upside of um, having a fire on July 4th and being the only, essentially the only uh, fire in the state is during our initial attack. The, uh, every resource order that was placed was actually filled, um, which in the past, uh, that hasn't happened. Um, just a shout out to uh, both our local partners, um, our state partners and our federal partners for um, some outstanding firefighting work that's taken place. Um, we had crews out on the line pulling double shifts, um, trying to make uh, some containment progress. And uh, this morning, as I said, we are up to 10%, which yesterday we were at five and before that we were at zero. Um, so we've made good progress on the fire um, and things continue to go in the right direction. Um, 
at, at this point, uh, as far as, and I see Kevin's trying to get back on, so he may have some better information if he's able to speak. Um, as, as far as a recommendation for declaration at this point, um, I would recommend that we, um, that we hold that card in our pocket, uh, if you will, for the moment um, and see what happens in the next 48 hours um, to see if uh, we are able to achieve more containment um, or if uh, things go the wrong direction and we begin to pick up acreage and uh, it escapes uh, the work that we have done. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Any I'm going to turn it over to the public. Is there any public comment? Is there any online? There is no online public comment. Okay. And seeing none in the room, I'll bring it back to the board. Is there any further questions? Okay. Oh, <laughs> can I just say, um, John, clarification. Why is, since from what you've said, why is containment still at 10%? What is it that's happening or not happening? So containment, um, when when they're provided, when they're when a percentage is provided, um, it's not 10% uh, containment in the sense of the fire, you know, is 10% out. Um, the, they're estimating that the incident itself is 10% over. So we won't reach 100% containment until we um, actually recover all the thousands and thousands of feet of hose um, and we send essentially everybody home. Um, so there's a lot of work that goes on after the threat subsides and that makes up quite a bit of uh, the, if you will, containment percentage. Um, so it, it seems like it's small, but that is um, considered progress, considering how we started the day on the board. Does that answer your question, ma'am? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Supervisor Stockton? <clears throat> um, I was in Bulk Hill on the day of it. I just want to thank everyone involved for the massive amount of uh, resources dedicated immediately. It was, it was, uh, scary but impressive to watch at the same time and i think that's part of the reason we're in the situation we are right now is because there was a plan of attack the uh, and, and the uh, all the resources slots were filled immediately so i just want to thank everyone from our local fire departments all the way up to the state level for all the resources dedicated yeah. I want to echo what uh, Ben said about uh, thanking everybody involved, our, our local fire department and our, our CAL FIRE boys and girls who were there right away, really made the difference and held the line while the cavalry came in to help everybody out and going. John, thank you very much for taking the cooperators meeting this morning over in Amarillo County. Uh, it gave me great confidence to see all the resources that are coming to bear on this fire. And uh, this is a whole different whole different ball of wax than what we had in 2015 as far as this county's organization, prepared plans, uh, you know, it's really important that we continue to do after action reviews, talk about what works, what didn't work, we can always refine and get better at things. And uh, But this is just a whole new game and I really appreciate all the work that OES and everybody up in the command centers did as well as our friends in Cal Fire and various counties around us and, uh, and our federal partners as well. Thank you guys very much. It's very impressive. With that, is there any other questions or comment? Not seeing any. John, if that's um, a lot, you maybe leave again to go back to work and do the good okay. stuff you do. Thank you. And uh, should things um, take a turn for the worse, it's not going um, Good wood here. Um, should they take it? Take it. You guys have authorized me to declare in your absence, um, and we will be able to um, proclaim an emergency in an appropriate manner 
um, and Ron bring that back in front of this board um, for for ratification within seven days. Just a couple of other notes that escaped um, my thought process. Um, if anyone, the public needs information regarding uh, evacuation status or fire information, uh, you can dial 211 from your cell phone um, and it will take you to, to uh, some folks that have information. Um, and then the other thing, which it, it is the larger piece, is there are an awful lot of uh, county departments that are in support of us. Um, a huge shout out to Corey Allen and her crew from HHSA. Uh, we have Emma Bell from uh, our safe, as our safety officer. Um, we have Jennifer from IWM, um, and uh, we've been in tight quarters with this with the administrative office. Um, Miss Janie is up here acting as our PIO, um, and they're all doing uh, very fabulous work as well as. Uh, Ms. Edwards, who supported us in this presentation and in uh, designing a proclamation, should you guys need it. Thank you, Lord. And as well as uh, probation. We have probation uh, as our plans chief. So um, it's a great collaborative effort across departments, and uh, I am extremely appreciative for the, for the work and the, uh, the collaboration. Thank you, John. Okay. Thank you. With that, we'll move into the next agenda. If there's nothing else from the board, um, at this uh, time, can I, can I yeah. And say thank you, Lisa. You came in on Monday and you were here. Appreciate it. Thank you. You and Kathy both. Yes. Um, We'll move on to the next agenda item, which is closed session. So at this time, I'll have the clerk read out the closed session agenda item. Closed session agenda, item two, public employment, pursuant to government code, section 5957B1, title, county administrative officer. Okay. And with that, the board will be in the closed session. Yes, 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 thank you. <laughs> there is no online public comment at this time. And not seeing any in the room, we'll convene in the closed session. All right, thank you. We are back from the closed session, and at this time, I'll turn it over to the clerk to report out. Report out from closed session. I am Item 1, Public Employment, to Pursuant to Government Code, Section 54957B1, Title County Administrative Officer. Board Action, County Administrative Officer, Crystal Monlada attended her resignation effective January 1, 2023, which the Board of Supervisors accepted by unanimous vote. Motion by a super, or Chair Fallendorf, seconded by Marina Cal Supervisor Calloway, and accepted by all supervisors, Tom Finale, Garamendi, Calloway, Fallendorf, and Stopper. Ms. Von Lada and the Board have mutually entered into an agreement pursuant to which Ms. Von Lada will be administrative leave from July 11, 2022 until the date of her resignation. She will work with the Board and County staff to enable work with the to enable a smooth transition during that time. Thank you. Thank you. Any public comment? There is no online public comment. And seeing none in the room, we will convene for the day and see everyone next week. Thank you.